Alrighty y'all, I went ahead and picked up three exclusive Shining Fates mystery boxes and we're about to find out if these boxes are worth it. What's good everybody, Dark Ghoul here, back at it again with another video. Now in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be opening up several, and I mean several, Pokemon card mystery boxes, and they are all straight from Etsy. So just like you guys saw from the intro of the video, this is one of the mystery boxes that your boy copped from Etsy, and it actually has a Cubone unmasked i don't know if this is how cubone actually looks like without its you know its little bone mask but if it is it kind of looks a little creepy i'm not gonna lie just look at that imagine waking up at 2 a.m at night and you see that just staring at you just glaring at you from your closet door i would be traumatized my guy but aside from that strange looking cubone everybody we are going to be opening up three of these in today's video and there's a couple special things about these boxes for one all of these boxes were fifteen dollars a piece that means you can cop yourselves some cheap pokemon card mystery boxes from etsy and the real question is are they worth it you feel me and the other thing is these are all shining fates special edition mystery boxes so i'm not sure how many packs, what comes inside these mystery boxes, I did not look at the description. All I saw was, these were Shining Fates mystery boxes, and I had to cop, and I had to open them, and see how good are they for myself, you feel me? So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the ghoul army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army, y'all already know the drill. I don't need to say more, you feel me? So let's go ahead and start with mystery box number one featuring... An innocent, weird-looking Cubone right there. So let's get it, man. Let's see what you get in a $15 Pokemon card mystery box. Ooh, okay. All right, so we got Pokemon Gifts right there, a.k.a. the seller's logo. Let's see what we're working with, y'all. Let's see, man. We got ourselves a couple Pokemon stickers. You can never go wrong with Pokemon stickers. We got Drowsy. We got Eevee. We got our Shining Fates pokemon booster pack ladies and gentlemen with that charizard artwork does this box only come with one pack no way please don't tell me it comes with one pack i'm not sure what this is what else man what else i'm not sure what that is we got ourselves a pokemon key ring let's go i'm not gonna use that but it's fly you feel me it is fly is that all you got another sticker right here we got a venonaut and is that all right there guys Let's find out. You can never be too sure. There might be a hidden item or a bonus item in these boxes. So it looks like that is everything you get from a $15 Shining Fates mystery box. We don't need the box itself anymore. Ooh, that almost hit my head, bro. I was ready for it, too. Alrighty, guys. So this is obviously everything we get from the box. We got the stickers. The stickers is nothing too crazy. We got ourselves a fly little key ring right there. I'm not a huge fan of the design itself, but if you're a fan of Pokemon, you can appreciate this like me. You feel me? And then we got like two mystery packs is what it seems like. So we're obviously going to save the Shining Fates pack for last because it's Shining Fates, bro. We need to pull that shiny Chawizard, you feel me? Not Charizard, Chawizard. Why am I saying it like that, bro? I'm a grown man. It's Charizard, bro. But guys, we're gonna put that towards the side and we're gonna find out what's inside these little bonus packages and let's see if it justifies the $15 price tag. So let's see, man. We got a pre-release deck? Hold up. We got ourselves a sword and shield sealed pre-release deck it is sealed my guy 
So on top of that, the Shiny Fates packs, what are they worth nowadays? Like 10 bucks for one pack, which is absolutely insane. Or it might be like $8 for a pack, either or, it's a lot for one single pack of Shining Fates. So I feel like these two items themselves justifies the $15 price tag, bro. I was not expecting a sealed pre-release deck, so that's actually very, very nice. And what else are we working with, man? We got ourselves a couple holographics. You can never have too many hollows. We got ourselves a Dragonite Hollow and a Scizor Reverse. So I'm not sure what this right here is. Ooh, baby. We got ourselves an Ultra Rare. Is that it? Is that our only Ultra Rare? A 50 cents promo card. <laughs> Let's be honest. This, this card right here is probably worth... 50 to 75 cents because there is like a million of these out there right now bro and i probably own like a hundred of them you feel me so we got ourselves a promo card an ultra rare promo card that's whatever we got a holographic reverse and we got a sealed pre-release deck so now it all comes down to the shining fates booster pack but before we open this up what do you guys rate this mystery box out of 10, what is your rating for this box? Box number one, I feel like it's a solid 8 out of 10. It could be better. I didn't like all of the contents, but I did like most of them. So I give this one an 8 out of 10, and we're going to go ahead and open up our Shining Fates booster pack. And let's hope we can get a couple bangers. Maybe a double banger, a two-for-one deal? That would be insane, bro. That would be insane. So let's get it, man. We got ourselves a Fighting Energy. And yes, all of these cards from the Mystery Box are 100% real. So we got ourselves a Snom, a Trap Inch, and I'm skipping cards. We got the Kyogre. Amazing rare, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. I swear, I've pulled like 500 of these Kyogre Amazing Rares. And I still hate these sleeves, man. Why do they have to be matte? Why aren't they glossy, bro? You cannot see the shine of the card that well. But nonetheless, they are amazing sleeves. But we did get a very, very nice pool to add to the pile. And I feel like, you know, these boxes are actually worth it, bro. $15? That's like nothing. That's less than $20 obviously however we're not gonna judge a book by one mystery box that makes absolutely no sense but what i was trying to say is we cannot judge a product a mystery product by just buying one so that's why i bought three bro we're about to crack into our second mystery box and this time it has a cute adorable little nidoran male obviously on the cover so let's see what's inside mystery box number two let's see man we got ourselves an executor we got a do trio and then we have an articuno this sticker right here is my favorite by far bro i absolutely love articuno and then we got a shining fates booster pack obviously these are shining fates edition we got ourselves another one of these mystery packs another promo card and then what is this we got another key ring with like 500 pikachus bro that's crazy i swear can they give me something that's not a pokeball pikachu or eevee i will take any pokemon i will even take a jinx key ring because it's more unique than having a Pikachu, an Eevee, or a Pokeball, you feel me? That's just how I feel, but this is a very nice piece, nonetheless. It is an official Pokemon product, to say the least, you feel me? So then, I believe that's everything in the box itself, so let's go ahead and toss these tops, you feel me? And let's see what we're working with, bro. We obviously got the pack, we got our stickers, so I like these two items right off the bat. The pack, the stickers, I like them as well as this thicker mystery pack, if you can even put it that way, because it looks like it comes with like another sealed item. But let's see what we're working with, bro. We got ourselves an energy. It seems like this one right here is a mystery pack. So let's see. We got ourselves a code card for the ghoul army. So here you go. It is from Rebel Clash. We got a Galarian Meowth. We got the Kevin Durant. And let's see. Ooh, it looks like we got a steel theme going on right here. I like that. I actually like that. I messed with that heavy. We got a Bronzong. We got ourselves a Pokey Kid. 
We got a Sogaleo. We got a Star Raptor. Ooh, is that it? Just two reverses? Okay. I was honestly expecting an Ultra Rare or a Holographic, bro. The first box is definitely better than this one right here. The first box got an 8 out of 10. And if there's nothing cool in this sealed pack right here, then this box might be a 6 out of 10. You feel me? So let's see what our Ultra Rare is, ladies and gentlemen. 3, 2, and boom! We got a Pikachu and Zekrom! Let's go! It's a promo card, but this right here is actually a nice piece, bro. This is a nice piece. I absolutely love Zekrom. Not so much Pikachu, but Pikachu's the mascot, so you can't complain. Pikachu is everywhere. But I believe this card still has playable potential. You feel me? So this is actually a very very nice piece and it looks like they consider the reverses to be like really rare cards that's why they're sleeved up so we'll just put the reverses right there and then obviously we have the key ring itself so for this next box i think i'm gonna have to give it a 7 out of 10 yes it went down in ratings because i don't know i kind of like getting sealed stuff more rather than like single cards and whatnot but it's all good a 7 out of 10 is not bad bro so let's move our pools towards the side and let's open up our shiny fates booster pack y'all let's get some juice man if we can get a pool in every single one of these packs i'll be happy 100 i will be happy but then again pokemon cards is a gamble you might get something you might not get anything so we got ourselves a snom we got a spinnerack we got a coupons a feeble and a Manaphy, regular rare. Right there, I just ate my own words, bro. I jinxed myself, and I ain't talking. Sweet Kiss. Is that the move that it has, Sweet Kiss? I'm pretty sure it is. Alrighty, guys. We got box number three in the cut, and I feel like I saved the best for last because look at the sticker. It has a Charizard, bro. So that means this Shining Fates pack inside here has a Charizard inside so let's see what's inside this box, bro. I feel like this is going to be the one. Let's see the stickers. Let's see what we're working with, bro. We got a goofy looking oddish. Look at that, man. <laughs> that looks absolutely creepy. But it's adorable at the same time. We got a Rattata. Y'all know I messed with the homie right there. We got an Onyx. And we got a Pidgey. So we got a ton of OGs for these stickers. And it looks like we have a Dragapult for our booster pack. We got our two mystery packs, and we have another one of these key rings, ladies and gentlemen. I was kind of hoping for variety, but it's all good. It's all good. I guess I can give away some of these on my social medias because obviously I won't be using them. So follow me on my socials if you haven't, you feel me? And then I'm pretty sure that is all you get. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and toss the final oh my gosh i gotta throw it farther i have to throw it farther but alrighty, guys we're gonna start things off with the thicker pack because like i said man that is going to be obviously an ultra rare so we gotta save the best for last so it looks like the theme of this pack is going to be fire you feel me so here is a code card of vivid voltage that's a good one right there man and then we got a ton of fire type pokemon cards i love when like mystery packs or customized packs have themes like this like a fire booster pack water booster pack it puts more creativity into the effort you feel me we got a dashing pouch we got a turtonator and we have a Santa scorch hollow so i'm not sure if i was supposed to get a hollow in my last you know energy pack but it seems like i did in this one so we're gonna put it right there now we're going to see what the ultra rare is y'all come on give me something juice give me something juice we're gonna reveal it in three two one it's a copperage v promo card okay so i think i get the theme for these boxes the more you buy you might get a box that's exceptional you feel me so obviously this isn't the best ultra rare to get but an ultra rare is an ultra rare. I'm not going to complain. This is basically everything I got in box number two. And I feel like I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10 because, because of this. This was the main reason why this box got a 6 out of 10. 
the variety, you feel me? If there was more variety, then I probably would have left it at a 7 or 8 out of 10. But let's go ahead and open up our Shining Fates booster pack because that might lift my spirits, you feel me? If we get a banger, a Charizard, it did have a Charizard sticker on the front of the box. Ooh, baby. This is the one. I can feel it, y'all. I can feel it. We got the Snom. We got the Rowlet. We got the Morpeko. Is this the last card? I think the next one is the reverse. Okay. I think the next one is reverse. Let's get it. We got this shiny Grimstarl. Yo, for a split second, I thought it was going to be the Charizard, bro. But I'll take this. I will take this. That is a nice piece right there, man. We got the Grimmsnarl V Ultra Rare, baby. Dang, that is beautiful. I love the shiny colors on this Pokemon. I'm not a huge fan of this Pokemon, but it looks nice with the white and the pink, the purple. That's more of a purple, I'm pretty sure. It's hard to see through this camera. But anyways, guys, we got a beautiful shiny full art. And we got the two for one deal with the full art ball guy. Look at this. This is a card drop right there, bro. This is a card drop. Let me get my sleeves first. Let me get my sleeves. We have to sleeve both of these up. Oh my gosh. What a way to end off the final mystery box. But guys, just because I get banger pools, I can't say that the rating of this box went up, you feel me? It's still a 6 out of 10. Obviously, Shining Fates is a 10 out of 10, bro. The set is amazing. I absolutely love Shining Fates. But if you were to buy multiple of these mystery boxes, I feel like you should just buy one for the experience because obviously you start to get repetitive items, you feel me? I bought three to put this mystery box to the test obviously i approve it's a nice box bro i'm not bashing it in any way i'm just saying maybe buy one or two for the experience and you're good to go you feel me especially if you want to open up some shining phase and i just realized i spent 45 dollars on three packs of shining fates at least we got some bonus items though with that 45 you feel me so without further ado guys I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Let me know your thoughts if these boxes were worth it. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.